Tarishima, that son of a bitch. Up, what are you This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. And today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Rokudo no Anatachi chapters 116 through 119. So, last time I covered this manga, we found out that, um, that that son of a bitch, Tarishima, freaking trolled everybody, uh, by wearing fake gremlin and, uh, was just basically uh, using Ling Lan to uh, learn Kung Fu so he could use it in his criminal life. So, yeah. So now he took off um, the gremlin from the rest of, uh, rest of the kids and shit is just going nuts. So let's get to chapter 116 first and see what happens next. Master Kakiju, Master Kakiju, ugh, Rokuro-kun, God damn that asshole! And uh, chapter 116 is titled The Three That Went Rogue. Tadashima did what? He took all the other's uh, beads and ran away? But why? We can worry about that later. We have other problems to deal with. Right now, Lilian san is chasing after Tadashima san into the mountain. Listen up, Rokudo. You leave Tadashima to me. Um, that motherfucker has the gall to use the chin nod I taught him on me. I'm gonna catch him and wring his neck. Okay, then I'll also you stay right here, Rokudo. We need to turn the others back into good people, remember? I'm going to go and get both those beads and Tadashima back to the temple. So until then, I need you to stop the other three from stepping one foot out of this place. That's right. The three of them have gone back to their evil selves. We need to keep them right here. Indeed. Who knows what they would um, do if uh, they get off this mountain. I'm sorry. This is all my fault. Now ain't the time for that, old man. Rokudo, you handle Arimo. She's a bad girl now, so your mark should work on her. You might not like using it, uh, but it would be uh, best for us to avoid a fight altogether. You have a point, all right. Me? I'll deal with Kakaru. Out of the three, I love Kakaru. I don't give a fuck if he looks scared right now. I love me some Kakaru. Uh, leave Rumsan to us. The two of us will, um, will handle him. Rumsan was my teacher, so I should know how to deal with his style of kung fu best. I'm counting on all of you. Now that they have reverted back to their old selves, they could be anywhere. The rehabilitation, Master Kakajiku's wish, and Ling Lan's departure from this mountain. I won't let any of these get ruined by this event. Yeah, Tadashima ruined that shit. He ruined, like, Ling Lan was about to go um, to school and live a happy life, and that motherfucker ruined it. Let's go. Here we go. We're splitting up. The bad rum is a glutton, so there's a high chin. Well, that's because he was was uh he was glut he was uh in this past life he was gluttony from full metal alchemist that's wh that's why he's the embodiment of gluttony so there's a high chance he would be in the kitchen two on one might be unfair but it's up to us to keep rumson in place it'll be fine his defense is normally um impenetrable but whenever rumson is eating something he would forget his surroundings and uh let his guard down so long as so as long as he's eating even um uh even we would be enough to deal with him Good thinking, Kacha. Let us proceed with that plan. Roger. The bad Arimo cares about her appearance more than anything. She must have gone to the bath. I think I found her, but I can't go into the bath while she's in there. Maybe I should wait for her to get out. Hmm? Who's there? Oh, that ain't a Remo. Oh, that, that ain't a Remo. Um, that's Rumsan. What the fuck is he doing here? And I'm telling you, Rum is a guy, and I, I, I swear, Rum is a, uh, is a, um, oh my god, what, oh my god, what was I, I think he, he was, oh my god, well, he is the, uh, he's definitely, he's definitely gluttony at this point, he fucking is, that man is gluttony, he really, really is, who's there, yeah, um, there, Kacho, that's Rumsan, um, uh, good, good, looks like he's eating something, we can, what, oh, what, can... ah, that ain't rum, that's my boy, Ka... dude, I don't care if Kakaru looks evil as fuck right now, he is, oh god, I just, I'm gonna hug him, I love Kakaru so much, oh, I love him, kiki, kiki, damn it, hey, Kakaru, is that a Remo, she looks like she's drawing something, her hair, her hair is blonde though, Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. The moon is beautiful tonight. Um uh don't you think? Um in in Numakun? 
Uh, she noticed me. She, uh, sure. Uh, you're moon watching? Uh, fuck, how am I supposed to fight a girl? It's beautiful. Wait, she seems pretty calm. Like, um, uh, the good Arima. Maybe I can persuade her. Seeing such a beautiful moon makes me all excited. No, she's a girl. No. No, she's a kid. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh! Hmm, where'd he go? Uh, this is the worst scenario um, possible! And now I remember what I was thinking that uh, the Rumsum was. He is a homunculus! That's what he is! Rumsum is a fucking homunculus! It took me a second. But yes, Rumsum is a homunculus. Now we're on chapter 117, which is titled Dangerous People. And damn, I am really digging this cover. It is beautiful. Um, and yes, Tadashima, even though he's a dick, he looks gorgeous. And fucking A, you, you cannot tell me that Rumsan is not a homunculus. He is gluttony to an extreme. He is goddamn gluttony. He is. Tadashima, you know what? I can, you can say Tadashima is greed in this scenario. You can either say he's greed or he's pride. Um, I... I'm trying to think what, uh, what Kakaru would be homunculus-wise. I'm trying to think what, uh, Irima would be if, uh, like, cause, I don't know if Irima would be lust or not. I don't know if she, she would be, I, I don't know. I don't know what, I want to know what homunculus or homunculi you think each one would be besides the obvious rum being freaking um, freaking gluttony. I, I, I'm still leaning towards Tadashima being um being greed he definitely has got to be greed uh kakaru i'm you know what kakaru I'm, I'm leaning so far i'm leaning towards wrath kakaru would definitely be the perfect wrath but we'll have to wait and see let, 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 let's see what uh, uh else is going here um going on here i don't um i don't uh fucking it whoever uh, again i'm gonna be saying this and um Unless I get myself, I'm gonna mention this when I do uh, my end of the year video. Uh, if you guys want to see these spelling errors and how frustrating it is, is if you're not reading the manga, if I upgrade my software, I could probably make it happen. Um, or uh, especially, well, not my, just my software, because uh, I do have the software. I don't have the memory. If I upgrade my, uh, my hard drive to a solid state hard drive, I could definitely do it. I don't know how far uh, that bastard Tashima um, might have gotten by now, but I know there's no chance of me catching him if I keep running like this. But you underestimated me, Tadashima. I have other friends on this mountain. Woo! Lin Lin is like the evil Disney princess. Or she's not the evil. She's the rebel Disney princess. The bear of um, uh, Mount Karyama. As a martial arts expert, beating a bear by myself is an easy task. So easy that I, the celestial self, had even tamed it. Come on, my cute little bear. Whoa! Right, it just came in like a wrecking ball, that bear. Yeah! Dude, look at that! Who, uh, who the fuck are you? Uh, who are you? Himawari Rada. Himawari Rada, I heard that before. I remember hearing that old man, uh, Kakajiku, freak, uh, freaked out when hearing that name for Rokudu. So this is her. The girl Rokudu and his friends are here uh, to get a gremlin for. The evil girl. Oh, she is, she is mad. I, I said that Rana was going to come in like a, a wrecking ball. Whew. I was hoping that Rana was going to be the one to whoop Tadashima's ass. And I still kind of think Rana might be the one to whoop Tadashima's ass in the end. But we'll have to wait and see. Her eyes are those of a beast. Oh, damn straight they are. Even uh, Kamako has uh, uh, to bend down before her. Poor Kamako. She's, he's just like, I just want to be left alone. Uh, give me directions. D directions? I got lost and I need direct. I got lost. I need directions. Just head straight this way and you'll reach a temple. I fucking love that Ling Lan knew. Just fucking knew. <laughs> she just knew automatically. Uh, good. Weird-ass girl, but I don't have time for this. Fighting Tadashima is my top priority right now. Found you! Whoa, I'm gonna die! The field! Time to get dirty again! What? You cannot tell me that! You cannot tell me that rum is freaking gluttony. You cannot tell me this shit. What was that sound? It came from the bathroom. Could they be struggling with those children now that they uh, have turned evil? Wait, perhaps I've given them the wrong directions of 
Um, uh, where those three children could be at? Who could this be? Kakaru, Rum, or Arimo? It doesn't matter who they are. I have been ready for this ever since I first put the Fremla on them. I will not uh, run or hide because I see you as uh, my own children. Whoa! You rock! It was this Rana. She coming in. She coming in on a rampage. Hit him by Rana. Yuck, yuck. She was not ready for that. Robinokun, Robinokun, Robinokun. Oh. She's like, oh, better just go follow that. Oh, Rana's like, first, before I go take care of that shit, I need a bath. I'm fucking, I just need to get clean. I feel nasty as hell. So she getting clean first. You know what? I'm going to go, I, I'm kind of leaning towards Rana. Um, if we're going to, Rana's son has got to be lost. If we're going to go with, if, uh, if, we're, out of all the homuncula, I think Rana is probably lost out of all of them. <laughs> she might, she's, she might be. Either that or she, she wrath, but we'll see. Told you, fellas, I ain't putting on those fucking beads again. Ugh! Please, Kakaru Kun, listen to us. And why do I gotta? You asswipes don't even know you're dealing with. Don't think I'm the same as that weak little shit you knew. You don't know a fucking thing about who I really am. Leader of Sayukin, the most infamous gang in the country, that is who I am. And the other two, uh, did you know that uh, they're even more dangerous than me? Okay, so now we're getting to chapter 118. Close contact police, 25 hour. All right. That thing that made them infamous was a TV documentary about the police. It was an, um, an especially unusual broadcast where it uh, showed the police aim aiming their guns at a, a gang of young thugs. Uh, the weekly viewer rate uh, reached uh, the peak of 48%. Stop the camera. Uh, the scene of their leader laughing maniacally after having a, a flipped a patrol car and set it on fire was broadcasted across the whole nation. Oh my god, in this chapter, chapter 118 is titled Felonies. Fuck the police. Law and order, fuck that too. We're gonna wreck all this shit. Oh my god, Kakaru is a goddamn Saiyan. I am very convinced of this right now. Kakaru has gotta be a Saiyan. Cause like, this is some shit that like, the evil Saiyans would do. I swear, if Vegeta was still evil, he would be, or if fuck, if Goku was evil, he would probably be Kakaru. Let's just be real. After an intense fight with the police, the thugs were arrested, but the reality in Japan is although the crimes they committed were serious, their sentences had to be shortened due to them uh, being minors. You gotta help, Master Kakijiku. This is a, this is tough on the police indeed. I'll take the child off your hand, um, for, uh, off your hands. For, I swear to God, I'm being a grammar Nazi right now, and I know it's ironic because I'm a Jew. I'll take the child off your hand for old time's sake. Thanks, Master. Without some kind of rehabilitation, we can't afford to let that kid out into society. I don't care what you tell me. I think Kakaru is just adorable. I am weird like that, okay? Most of his gang were released, and save for the leader, Kakaru himself would disappear without a trace. And so the Sayuki gang was disbanded. Woo! Whoa, we got power pull extend going out of it here. Y'all going down. The cops, that old shit, keeping me here fucking with my mind. Who do they think they are, God? I'm telling you, Kakaru is Goku if he was evil. Um, you're gonna have a taste of all the anger I built up as I tear you motherfuckers apart. <laughs> yes! I love you, Kakaru! He's my man! God, we can't get close to him. You know what I like about this stuff? I can stretch and shorten it however I want, and there's no way you can rubber it. Yes, it's the power pull! Woo! We got the power pull up in here. That sounds very versatile. So, where are you wanting, Numakun? Oh no! Uh oh! We got a me too moment. Uh, we got a me hashtag me too moment going on up in here. Woo! Yeah, demons pink. Oh god! Bitch! Ow! What? You gotta punch a girl? Now, now that it? Some man you are? Shit! She's right. She might be a tribal looking cakey ass <laughs> shit monster right now. <laughs> I love you, Anuma. <laughs> but she's still a girl. Only bitch ass bastards would, bastards would hit girls. Uchin redirecting. Hiya! Wah! Ha! You go down too easy, dude. Oh, dude, she got she kicked him right in the face. Um, when I get to that old man, I'm gonna make him even more sparkle like uh even more even more spark I think it's supposed to be more sparkly than this, but fuck! Uh whatever. I, I seriously I need to learn Japanese already. Uh Kamakura, it's been so long since I was here. Damn their damn their pranks are getting out of hand. They even got to Kamakura this time. 
Whoa, it's even on the news now. That's wild. Let's go there and check. I wonder what has happened. Live from, oh my god! Oh my god, they put the paint of Buddha's face! Live from the scene, a terrible thing has happened. One of our national treasures, the Kamakura Buddha, um, had, uh, been applied hideous ma um, makeup by persons or persons are, uh, by person or persons unknown. Wait, some people who, who might think are the culprits are being apprehended by the police. Even jokes have limits, you. Jokes? What? Do you even, like, know who the fuck you're talking to? We're the gal, the gals of art. Yes, they're gals, aka gals. Um, all we're doing is teaching you art, um, dumbasses, a lesson. Uh, it seems that the vandalizers are a group calling themselves the Shibuya uh, Gavel, a group of young delinquent girls who operate mainly in the sh in um, Shibuya, in Shibuya, Tokyo. That was when the Kakajiku guy put his beads on me and robbed me of my art. But now my art that has been restrained, that has been restrained all this time, can finally. Explode! Rokuto, where are you? Oh no! Oh no, Noma! Oh, poor Noma! He's being assaulted right now! Oh, I should read it like that. I'm gonna read this again. Rokuto, where are you? Oh my god, there we go. Now, now we're getting to the good shit. Um, where did you get to, Tadashima? I knew you would catch up sooner or later. Looks like I'll have to face off on my own master after all. Ha! Cocky for an apprentice, aren't you? But it's gonna be 100 years until you can stop being one, you little shit. Yes! All right, so now we're at chapter 119. Well, man, I am so freaking hyped for chapter 119. Like, dude, I am so freaking stoked. Um, hold on a second. This is just being a little pain in my ass right now. I don't know why Manga Life does this to me sometimes. But here we go. So now we're at chapter 119. Load, damn it. Load for me. And chapter 119 is titled Dynamic Battle. Oh, the poor bear is just like, what, what did I get myself into? Oh, man, here, oh, man, this is, battle is freaking tense, I swear. If I get this, if I get this, uh, well, if someone donates 120 bucks so I could get the solid state um, hard drive, uh, then, uh, woo, then I'll be able to show you this stuff. Woo, this, this battle is freaking intense. Um, woo! Well, well, you doubled the amount of killing blows. Lots more trouble than the celestial you ever were. Tashima, you goddamn son of a... You, you're better than I expected. Time to show it then, uh, Ling Lan. That technique, the one you never taught me. Show it. You sleep talking or what, dumbass? It's called a secret technique for a reason. Um, uh, would be unfair to use it on a weak ass like you. Heh, what an evil master you are. Still, you sure you can afford to take your time here? Without the gremlins, the other three will go on a rampage at the temple, yeah? I wonder how they're getting on now. Especially that crazy bastard, Rum. Gotta wonder how your, uh, Rokudo is gonna fare against him. A crop thief? Uh, this guy's stealing crops, crops now? Last time it was a diamond dash. Oh, now we're getting to, now we're getting to, um, to, uh, Gluttony's, uh, uh, backstory. I mean, Rum. Um, I never heard, even heard of a diamond dasher or, or, uh, crop thief getting wanted by the police before. That just proves how peaceful this area is, I guess. Ha <laughs> ha Ooh, man. Poor Yamachan, his whole field is gone. But it's weird. A boar or even a bear would never have gone this far. My field, maybe it's him. Him who? The crop thief that is wanted by the cops. Wanted by a cop? Wanted by cops? Oh, my Daikon! That's enough, Yamachan. Don't force yourself. Woo! Dude, like, Rum just rolls, like from the dirt like uh, like the fucking um like a fucking zombie but dude i understand the deal with daikon um uh the importance of it read barakamon you will understand uh, hold on i'm make sure i uh pronounce it right because this is a, a new series i'm going to be uh covering on the channel once uh, the next chapter comes out and that is uh where are you yeah i, I totally pronounced it right barakamon read barakamon you will understand it's actually pretty good uh who the hell's that that's the wanted guy. Ah, good enough. Hungry now. Give it, give back my daikon. Why, Yamachan? He got slammed. Okay, okay. Let's eat the next field. Good all the cops. Uh, how many of the uh, them police were there? About thirty. This this is a nightmare. Dude, he's a fucking murder. These police. Don't no one interrupt my eating. You good eating? Fresh veggies are the best. Now, time to get off this mountain and get some grilled meat. Rub's on stop. 
You still need to be rehabilitated, Remsong. You have to wear the beads. Beads? The beads that stop me from eating? Never! Pillar stance! Ooh, the pillar stance fell. It broke. He's too strong, such a huge gap in power. Huh? Huh? Yes! Remsong got changed and damn! She looked fine. Ooh, that ass though. That ass, Rod is looking good. Woo! And for those that compl that complain about lack of diversity in manga, especially uh, when it comes to uh, comes to body size, I know I'm sounding like an SJW, but no, for, look no further than Rana, because Rana San actually um, she she ain't she. Well, yeah, a lot of a lot of manga char anime characters have curves, but she has a little bit of extra on her. But anyway, um, I, I'll say this: Rana is thick. There you go. Uh, but man. Oh man, I really love these chapters. I, I love it. This manga is getting better and better. I'm really curious what like homunculi you think each one of them are. And like, do you guys like seriously think Kakaru is just like a Saiyan in another life? Uh, like he was, he totally a Saiyan in another life. He has to be. He's got to be a Saiyan in another life. He's like Goku if he wasn't evil. And I'm curious if that was the inspiration for, for um, Kakaru's evilness. But, uh, but man, between the Me Too, uh, Me Too moment and uh, we got like we got pure gluttony. I'm very curious what you guys think like their homunculi. Uh, this is like obviously we know that uh, I, I still I'm going with Tadashima being greed. He totally is fucking greed. Um, I'm going for sure. Obviously, rum is gluttony. I'm just the one the ones that I'm not sure about are um, Irima and uh, Kakiru. Like I kind of want to say. Kakiru is, um, is wrath. I'm leaning towards that. And, like, Arima, I kind of want to say she's, like, pride in a way because she has so much pride in her, in her art. Um, or, uh, oh my god, what's the other? Well, like, Arima's more of a, like, she's like a, she's more of a narcissist. But, like, but yeah, she's an art. Yeah, she's definitely actually. The more I think about it, she is definitely pride because pride is is in the same realm as being a narcissist. So yes, I would say Arima is pride for sure. Uh, Tadashima is um, is greed. Um, Kakiru is de is definitely wrath. You, you cannot deny Kakiru is wrath, and um, and Rum is uh, is gluttony. Like if you want to say like Langlan and. Um, Lingling is more rehabilitated now because of Rokudo, so I kind of can't say he's she's a, um, a homunculi and say well with Rana like I feel like Rana is definitely like if you want to go that route she's definitely lust uh, for sure. Um, with Lingling, I feel like she would be out of all of them. I feel like she would be. I feel like she would be envy if anything based on what we've seen so far she would be envy but i'm very curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdikins inc if you love what i'm doing and want to keep the channel alive and upgrade this shit there's a few ways you could do that you can donate to my paypal patreon go fund me purchase something off my amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on twitter twitch facebook friend me on playstation network that's in the description box below as well until next time nerdikins i will be seeing you later